Hello and welcome to another update video about Dogecoin. Doge continues to be in this ending diagonal to the downside. From that point of view, there is absolutely no change in wave count. A wave one, a wave two, wave three might be in. Maybe we currently see a wave four and a wave five to come. Is there a bullish alternative? Yes, but it's extremely difficult to justify it. In the bullish alternative, we would say that let me just double check that actually. Um, yeah, that price rallied in a wave one, but it's only a three wave move. So it would have to be the first wave of a diagonal. And the move down would be a wave two. Yeah. And however, if I look at how deep that came here, yeah, it broke really below all relevant Fibonacci retracement levels, then this is honestly extremely, extremely unreliable and unlikely so best for this chart i really believe that is to make another low because it would then have a chance to restart everything and create a nice impulse from a possible new bear market low but let's zoom in the idea is we are in a third wave or probably already completed it yeah in an um, abc structure because we talk about diagonal patterns and in the c wave we have five waves basically complete and I said in the last video that there's a good chance we go a little higher in the fourth wave here. This can extend out a little bit, um, but resistance is all the way up to 0 0.0792. So as long as price stays below that, another low is expected into the region of 5 cent or ideally a little lower, which would be the low of May or June 22, ideally below that. And at the moment, I have no evidence that Doge bottomed here somewhere. In fact, it's just producing a so-called ascending wedge, which is a bearish pattern typically would typically break to the downside. Um, we need to see, but typically they do, and it would be in line with the wave count because that could be a nice wave four in an A, B, C structure. Can extend a little higher, no problem. And if we talk about resistance, we talk here about 6.58 cents, 7.3 and 7.9. As long as price stays below that, it could head down lower. Let's see if this is going to happen. Um, but certainly this is not really looking in a, you know, in any way impulsively. So the trend is still down. Okay. Be, just be aware that with Doge, I mean, all that needs to happen for it to do a bit of a pump. Um, Elon needs to just, you know, let off a bit of a, a tweet and then we'll suddenly rally. But all of those rallies in the bear market have just been corrective rallies. I think I've been skeptical about all of them. Um because they were all you can you can clearly see that. I mean they were all three wave structures here. Or even the larger one here. Three waves, yeah. Um here is a very clear one. And here as well. I think this was the Twitter logo one. So yeah for me you know for me another low is still likely. It would also be preferred it would take a sustained break above 7.9 cents to consider something more bullish at this stage. All right, that's my update about Doge. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.